This week we begin reading from the third of the five books of the Torah, the book of Vayikra, or Leviticus in English. The portion begins by describing and setting the stage for us of what the entire book will be about, and that is laws related to the Kohanim and Leviim, the priests and Levites working in the Mishkan, in the portable desert sanctuary, and also the system by which they're working, that is, the sacrifices and other offerings that will be brought for a variety of occasions and for a variety of reasons. As we read through the book, we understand that the rituals described, not just for the sacrifices, but also for the sense of purity and ritual impurity that we might contract in our lives and what we're supposed to do to be rid of that, that and the sacrifices together are elements that are really uh, are irrelevant to our lives today, seemingly so. That is, we don't bring sacrifices anymore, and we would never consider doing so because it seems to us as if it is a barbaric system. It's an ancient system reflecting practices from, from ages and ages ago. So the question, of course, is why do we read it? What kind of sense can we make of this book that can have meaning to us in 2016, 2,000 years after the uh, temple itself was destroyed, when the temple itself was a place for all of these rituals? One idea of many that have been suggested as a way for us to uh, encounter the book and make it seem relevant and meaningful today is this sense that there is always a desire that human beings have to have a physical connection with God. The people of Israel had that connection when standing at Mount Sinai. They heard and felt God's presence. They saw God's presence every day dwelling on top of the sanctuary. And then it made sense to bring something, an offering, something of themselves as a gift for having this presence in their lives. For us, when we don't experience God's presence in that physical way, it's harder to make that connection. Prayer is a wonderful uh, opportunity to create uh, that avenue uh, and that opportunity for connection, but not many of us feel it in such a physical way. So perhaps by reading through the book of Leviticus, we can be inspired to try to create or recreate that, an, an opportunity or an experience in which we can feel physically God's presence in our lives. And so I, I make that suggestion as we begin reading the book of Vayikra to try to uh, bring that physical presence of God into our lives. Shabbat Shalom.